Hello everyone, Syngage here, and welcome to Fire Emblem, New Mystery of the Emblem. Uh, Chapter 6X, Mercenary Squad. Let's get going. We did it, Caesar. I ambush was a success. They're completely surrounded. Tactical victory is ours. I see. However, don't lower your guard. I only use the Altaian army. We know how strong they are. But Caesar, are you really found with this? We did fight under Altia's banner in the previous war. We're mercenaries. We have no liege. I need gold and we'll do anything for it, even selling my soul to the devil. Gold, huh? Indeed, when we get the reward from Emperor Harden, I'm sure we could save it. Alright, let's do it, Caesar. Rod, there's no need for you to follow me. My sister is my business. The Altaian army is strong. You'll die if you're careless. I'm doing this for my own interest, too. So I'll tag along to you, Caesar, as I always have and always will. Very well, then let's go. Roro, you're ready, I presume. <laughs> it seems one of those mercenaries were Mott's allies in the previous war. I do wonder if they'll be of any use. Bah, I don't like you getting the best parts. Oh well, do whatever you want. So much as I love trying to get as much experience as I can, I've got to blaze through this map for many different reasons, so... Oh! Alright, let's see. Good. Hand axe! Ha! You could have done that the first time so you didn't take any damage there, Sirius. Smack! Uh, I'm not going to talk much because the way I'm going to do this map is kind of going to speak for itself. <laughs> I mean, it's going to look like the craziest and most suicidal thing you've ever seen. Good. Roro's speed isn't 13, which means he can't double Ryan. Ow. That's quite terrifying that Roro hit him, but it should be fine. Now, if that guy hits Marth, then it's all over. Because then Rad will go after Marth instead of doing what he normally does. Oh, Ryan dodged the second one, though. That's good. Good, Roro's HP is now low enough. Ow. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Does this guy... Okay, looks like Drog's gonna stand firm. I put Drog there because... Okay, now I'm really scared. That is some seriously bad luck right there. For them. I mean, they can double Drog, and they're just... Ow. This is scary. That guy usually goes after Drog and not... and not Cord. Oh well, I got extra. No! No! Oh, thank goodness. I am Rad, Deputy Commander of the Mercenary Band. Here I come! Thank goodness neither of those two can double each other. Oh. Roro's got a chance to crit, so we're just going to do this the easy way. I'm gonna hit him with a bamboo sword, why not? Oh! I won't die if one of you kill me! Oh, 
Okay. Now I'm just gonna mop up a bit of extra EXP. Because it's free game now. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! Okay, come on, Drog. Just get yourself that one last bit of EXP. Yes! And... That is how you two-turn Chapter 6X. Wait, is it two-turned? Yeah. Wonderful, right? You win, Prince Moth. I should have known you weren't a foe we could defeat with petty tricks. I surrender. Kill me or whatever. I'm all yours. Caesar, I'd like to hire you and Rad if possible. I want you to come with us. You and Rad fought by my side in the previous war. You're both my comrades. Prince, forgive me, but we're mercenaries. All we did in the previous war was fulfill our duties as hired swords. It might have been just a job for you two, but not to me. Both of you are my previous comrades. You were then and still are now. Prince, I appreciate your willingness to say such kind words to mercenaries like us. However, at the end of the day, we're hired swords, therefore we ask for gold. Prince, Akanea occupies your country. It's obvious you don't have the extra resources needed to pay us. Well, you have a point. We have gold. We shall reclaim Altea, our homeland. Once we do, we will have access to the gold we have there. Altea may have been occupied by Akanea now. Oh, but we shall defeat them, and then you'll have the gold you seek. Do you honestly think you stand a chance against a powerful kingdom like Arcanea? Yes, Prince Moth shall be the victor. He won't be defeated. You're an odd man. It seems you have the power to move the hearts of others, just like Prince Moth does. Even if it seems an impossible task, you might just be the man to pull it off. That's how you make me feel. Since you failed your mission, Arcanea won't pay you the gold you seek anymore. If you're a hired sword working for gold, following Prince Moth would serve your interests better, am I wrong? Fair enough. Prince Moth, Brad and I are now your hired swords. We shall accompany you for as long as you wish us to. Thank you, Caesar. Oh dear. Roro, it seems your clone died. <laughs> Sigh, whatever. So, are you the real Roro, or just another clone? Yeah, Legion is one of my favorite characters, after all. Chapter 7, Scarlet Swordsman, at the Fane of Raman. Having liberated Grust, Marth and his companions accepted Wendell's request and stopped by the Fane of Raman in search of the missing orbs. However, the ancient temple built to worship Naga had been wrecked by constant warring and was now nothing more than a den of thieves. They're escaping with the temple's valuable treasures. We must catch them. Stay clear of the free company guarding Casimir Bridge. We cannot defeat them. It seems a dancer is lost inside the forest. We must find her before the bandits do. As the soldiers receive their orders, the flames of a new battle around the Fane of Raman were ignited. By the way, Shin, I have something I'd like to ask you. Yes, Sir Jagan? From your perspective, what kind of person am I? What kind of person? I keep wondering about how I should have acted towards Lang. Our homeland Altea's position is important, but perhaps I brood far too much and offend people. You worry about these things too, Sir Jagan. You needn't worry, your concern for Prince Marth is more than evidence. You're very strict, Sir Jagan, but also very kind. Is that so? Oh, oh. If you cheer me on enough, I may even age backwards. Sir Jagan, when you look at me, what kind of person do you see? Hmm, well, 
You're very capable as a royal guard. And I can feel a hidden genius somewhere. That's the kind of person you are. What's an honor? Well, we'd best begin the war, Cancel. Let us go, Shin. Yes, Sir Jagan. So, this is a fun little map. So, free company. These guys are unkillable. Well, I guess Astrum's technically... They are technically killable, but with my current level, it would be really, really hard. Let's see here. Oh, right. Woohoo, look at all of these guys up here. Okay, Scorpio, Master Seal, Wo Dao, Angelic Robe, Iron Sword, another Master Seal. Jeez Louise, this map. And there's Dahl, the Head Thief. I don't remember if these guys retreat or not. But I'd best be quick about it, just in case they do. Let's see. Uh, what's Caesar and Rad doing in my army? Poof, poof. Uh... Yep, everybody that's useless is not in the army. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to actually reset all these guys' inventories. I did some silliness with the star shards. As you can see, I gave Mark two of them, even though he doesn't need them. Gave Drog cancer, even though he doesn't need it. Cord's carrying the Taurus instead of the freaking Gemini, because it was better for him. I mean, it's all kind of messed up. I gotta fix it all. But either way. Uh, whoops, talk. Uh, we don't need to read that. We know what's going on. Ah, there it is. Katria and Shin, too. Shin, about that last battle, I'm sorry. You had to save me. It's fine. We're comrades, after all. But you left yourself wide open in battle. That's not like you. Did something happen? No, I just lack experience. That's not true. If you fought with your full strength, you wouldn't need my help at all. That reminds me, sometimes I'd see you just staring off into the distance. Were you watching Prince Moth? Ah. No, it isn't like that. I was, uh... You don't need to hide it, Katria. Prince Moth is a great man, after all. Everyone is fighting in this army because they admire Prince Moth. I'm no difference. You feel the same way, don't you? Yeah, that's right. For your sake as well, Katria. I must do my best as a royal guard. I will become much stronger for Prince Moth, for you, and for all. Shin. Okay. And the Free Company. Shin, about the Free Company defending Ka Chasmir Bridge, Northwest. Yes, sire. I'd like you to leave them alone. Their leader is Astrum, hero of Akinea. He wields the sword Macarius, one of the three regalia, and is one of the strongest men in the continent. I see, he sounds like a truly powerful opponent. That isn't the only reason why I don't wish to fight him. In the previous war, Astrum was our ally. He's a very serious and loyal person, his devotion to Princess Nina unmatched. Forgive my lack of courtesy, but you and I need to be clear on a certain point. While I have decided to lend you my sword, my allegiance lies with Princess Nina, not you, my lord. I will follow your orders, but should I learn you have been false to her, or that you are manipulating her, heads will roll. I do not think we can persuade him, at least not now. I'd rather not fight him unless necessary. Shin, I'd like you to avoid battle with him as well, if possible. Yes, understood. However, should your life be in danger, sire, I will fight, no matter how powerful that opponent might be. Uh, actually, let's look at Shin's stats. Oh, he could competently take on Astria. I mean, if we take out the fact that he's carrying Mercurius. But his stats are better in all respect except defense. He's just not a hero yet. He's closing in, though. What is Astrium's level? Five. Ah, uh, the only pre-promote worth using is Sirius. And there's a long list of reasons for that. But we'll get into that in the next part. This part has been longer than it should have with how short that map is. So I will see you all in the next part. Bye, everybody!